Hello, this is Mator, and today I'm going to be going over how to fix errors found in Test5Edit, primarily for when you're merging plugins, but this can apply at other times too. So I'm going to be going over all sorts of errors here, not just the simple UDRs and ITMs. I'm going to go over what to do when you see a null, uh, null, or cannot be resolved error. I'm going to go over what to do if you see weird errors that you have no idea what they mean. So today I'm going to be merging these player homes. I've already merged them before and I've also already cleaned the ESPs before. So I had to re-download them and rename them for these ones which have not been cleaned yet. Uh, dash errors. Not all of them have errors. Only some of them do. But you know. Anywho, just going to run test 5 edit here through mod organizer. And then I'm going to grab these plugins. And there we go. Loading these plugins will take about 50 seconds. So in the meantime, I will talk generically about errors. So errors happen when there's something that Test5Edit doesn't expect. Sometimes this can be a reference that doesn't exist to a form ID that doesn't exist. This can happen if the mod creator just removed something but forgot to remove all the references to it or something like that. Just In general, it's just messy modding, but it happens to everyone. And if the people don't check their plugins after every change they make for errors in a tool like Test5Edit, then they can miss things. And those result in problems for the rest of us. Anywho, um, we have these plugins. They should finish loading pretty soon. We're gonna right click and check for errors and we're gonna see a lot of stuff that we didn't want to see. Anywho, right click check for errors. So you can see here instantly we've got a whole bunch of errors. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Ugh. So you can tell pretty much immediately that you can't merge these plugins because your face just got destroyed by all these errors. But the first thing we can do is we can use the apply filter for cleaning to get rid of UDRs and ITMs. If we can do that, that will fix some of these because we can see here record marked as deleted but contains base. That's called a UDR, undeleted record, something like that. I don't remember what it stands for. But um, UDRs are when a record's been deleted instead of being simply disabled. So um, you, you, what Test5Vet will do is it will not mark it as deleted and instead it'll mark it as disabled, which will fix that issue. Um, these types of errors aren't critical, like your plugin can function with these errors. You can probably merge it with these errors and there won't be a serious problem. Um, but it does cause other problems in test five edit. So you might as well fix them and it'll help you to see the other errors as they come up. So we're gonna right click here and we're gonna click undelete and disable references. That's what UDR means. So it's gonna click say yes and it's gonna make some changes and it's done. It took two seconds. Um, you can see here we've got four plugins that changed. Now we're also going to remove identical to master records, which will be a few there. And then that should be good. Now we've already fixed most of what we need to fix. We're now going to right click, we're going to click remove filter and everything should no longer be colored. Now we're going to right click and we're going to click check for errors. So again, we're going to see are there any errors still? And there will be because I selected these plugins because they have some. Um, but there's, I think, a bit less, but there's still some errors. Let's start on a simple one. Here we have checking for errors in alchemisthiddenvalley.esp. On the record, A A A H, Yobadias, Yobad, Bell, calling bell, which is an activator record. We have inside the virtual machine adapter element, all the way down to here, we have a form ID error cannot be resolved record. So this is a common error and it basically results in this is pointing to a non-existent record. It's saying look for the record at this address and test 5 edit isn't finding any record at that address so it's saying that's a problem. And if you try to merge a plugin with that kind of error or do anything else that would involve copying that record or reproducing it, it would not it would fail because of that error. Um, so what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to look inside alchemisthiddenvalley.esp and we're going to go into the activator group. Acti is activator. Uh, you might not know these signatures offhand. Some of them are pretty easy to guess. 
Uh, not all of them, but I mean, book is book, acti is activator. Uh, you should be able to get it fairly well. If you absolutely have to, you can open a group, click on a record, and look at the signature. Anywho, acti Yobadai's bill. Here we are. Now, if we go back to the messages, we can see it's in the VMAD virtual machine adapter element. Then in the data sub record scripts script properties property value. So going back to here, VMAD data scripts script. So we have one script here, and that's the only script we have. Then we go into properties property. And we have all these properties, and we should pretty easily see here. Oh, hey, here it is. Here is this error could not be resolved. So the way we're going to resolve this, one way you could resolve this is if you can read the modder's mind, then you can put what's supposed to be here. But if you can't read the modder's mind, you can just be like, this isn't going to work anyways. I'm just going to right click and remove. Now, if your test five edit isn't set up to edit things easily, like mine is, then it might prompt you saying, are you sure this is bad? You might mess something up. Just say yes, because we're smart. Anywho, we've done that now. We should now have no more errors in Alchemist Hidden Valley. So we're going to right click, check for errors. And in a few seconds, bam, no errors. We fixed it. That's one. Now there's a whole bunch more to do. So there's a whole bunch of errors in activators in Millwater Retreat. So go to Millwater Retreat, go to activators. What's the first one? MRA Tower Ledger. Guard Tower Ledger. I'm going to close this. I'll look at it later. So MRA Guard Tower Ledger. So it might be hard because these might not be in alphabetical order. If you click on Alpha Editor ID, they will be. MRA Guard Tower Ledger. Did I miss a letter? Let's check this again. MRA Tower Ledger. Oh, I was clicking on it. Oh, I'm, I'm funny. Okay, here we are. So MRA Tower Ledger. Where was the error in that? It was at Acti VMAD Data Properties Properties Object V2 Form ID. So it's the same place as the one before. In here, we scroll down. There's a lot of properties on this. But oh, there we go. Error cannot be resolved. So we're just going to right click, remove that. Then we have another one here. Right click, remove that one too. And that should fix that one. What's next? So this can be a slow process. It's not the best. But um, but if, if you want to merge it, you got to go through this. So this is MRA Workbench. Let's go here. And there's a lot in here. So we're just going to scroll down. We're going to find the error could not be resolved. And we're going to right click remove. Now it's possible that doing this kind of thing, removing stuff, could actually make the plugin not function in some ways. I personally haven't seen it, but I certainly could see it happening. Um, ideally, in the case of most of these, if there's an error like this, the game isn't gonna gonna do anything with it. Um, but maybe the modder is super clever and they found a way to use an error to make their mod function the way they want to. Um, that's pretty much never going to be the case, but you could imagine it could be the case in some situation. So doing this might actually cause a problem with the mod, in which case you would have to, instead of removing, correct it, as I said before, by reading the modder's mind. Another way you could do this is just tell the mod author, hey, fix this. Like all the mod authors are meant to fix things for you. Um, they probably wouldn't appreciate that. Don't tell them that I said that. <laughs> um, anyhow, MRI Planter Rounder. Planter Rounder. Planter rounder. I see other planters. Planter round. Oh, it's not rounder. I'm silly. MRA. Yeah, it's MRA. So it should be in the P section. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Anywho, here's error could not be resolved. Error could not be resolved. Error could not be resolved. Here's another error could not be resolved. Error could not be resolved. Error could not be resolved. Not be resolved. Go back to messages. MRA planter square. And we have six more of these. Remove, remove, remove. And there's this one. Remove, remove, remove. Um, MRA, MR tested. So there's no A, so it's going to be down here. MR, MR tested. Oh, it's a book. I'm silly. So we've got to go to the books, find MR test deed, 
and I think it's going to be in the VMAT again. A lot of these are going to be in the virtual machine adapters, which is basically the script elements. Um, anywho, here are all these. All, all removed now. And again, like removing like this, it doesn't really fix things, it just makes it so you can merge. So there, a lot of this probably had an intention. It was supposed to do something, but um, it doesn't work. So um, I, in, that, in that particular case, I might have been able to guess some of those based on the name of the elements and put some stuff in there, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to remove. Um, let's look here. Millwater Retreat Arcane Enchanter. This is a misc item. So we go to misc, M R A, so M R Enchantment Table, and this is probably also going to be in this bit. Okay, and then Alchemy Bench, M R Alchemy Bench up here. And here's our error could not be resolved. Back to messages. And that should be everything in this mod, which took a while to clean. It was pretty messy. Let's right click, check for errors, see if it finds anything. Ha! Well, there we go. We fixed all of those errors. That was, that was the majority of them. Now we've got some errors in FC Kagranax Instant Fortress. There are three acties and one quest. So let's go into there. Let's go into the activators. What are they? Bar Bard Button Song 02, Tale of Tongues. And once again, same idea. What's the next one? Um, the Dragonborn Comes. What's the next one? The Age of Oppression. So all of these appear to have uh, error could not be resolved for faction idol, whatever that is. Um, Uh, let's see now here FC instant fortress quest okay so let's go to quest and there we go error cannot be resolved and that should be everything um, let's select all of our mods now sort by form ID select all of them right click check for errors and let's see checking for errors checking for errors checking for errors checking for errors all done all the errors were fixed it was painstaking it was slow but we fixed the errors in all of these mods now we can safely merge them or do whatever we want with them um, in this case I pretty much only showed you guys error could not be resolved errors those are the most common type of error other than UDRs and ITMs um, on deleting and disable references and identical to master records uh, so you now know how to fix all three of those. For other errors, um, there are some, uh, uh, there's one type of error, unexpected or out of order sub record. Those errors, there's nothing you can do in test 5 edit to fix them. You can try opening the plugin in the creation kit and resaving it. Um, that might fix it, might not, really depends. Um, those are basically just corrupted data. The data isn't the way it's supposed to look. So test 5 edit can't read it. Um, you Generally, if you see something like that, you just want to run the other direction because it's it's way more hassle than it's worth to fix, and it's just a mess. It's probably on some really old mod that's no longer maintained, and there's just not much you can do about that. It's the struggle of modding. A um, few other ones that you might run into. Uh, uh, expected reference of type, but found reference. Those are, again, things that you can just remove or if you can think of what's supposed to be there, you can try putting what's supposed to be there. Um, but those, again, like usually what you do for fixing errors like this is you just find by looking at the, the, the stuff here where the error is and then you just rip the thing out. Because if it's an error, it's not going to work anyways in the game. So you might as well just get rid of it so you can actually merge those plugins or whatever else you're going to do. Anywho, I'm going to close here. You're, of course, going to save all of the plugins and there you go. You've now fixed the errors in those plugins. Um, just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you guys me merging these plugins and it working flawlessly. Um, I've already merged these plugins and already have tested all the games in, or all the homes, in, all these player homes in my game. They all work perfectly. So um, even though what I did there looked pretty scary and kind of edgy, um, it works. 
So you can't really argue with that, can you? Um, anywho, we'll just have to wait for the background loader again and then apply the merge plugin script real quickly and we will be ready. Ready, merge completed. I'm just gonna copy all the files now. Um, you can see merge file has been created successfully. It has 20,834 records. So as I said, merging works on these plugins that if I hadn't fixed all those errors would be totally unmergeable. So um, yeah, uh, one thing that could maybe happen sometime in the future is people could share clean, cleaned plugins, sort of like what um, Charlotte, Charlotte Cran does, um, just because it's, it's, it takes time to clean plugins. And if the mod author doesn't want to do it themselves or upload the clean plugin, maybe they're not around, it might be really helpful to people. But anyhow, we just got this. We're just going to save it real quick and create that new mod in Mod Organizer. But uh, that's how you fix errors in plugins. And it's, it's painstaking in many ways, but the result can be totally worth it.